why open it off camera when I can film it instead. Got me here a uh, Nintendo DS. Well, I have two of them. This is a legit one, and this is not a legit one, or they claim it's refurbished. So we'll go ahead and see. I'm very curious as to what this looks like, and we'll get to compare it to a real DS. Now they have a bunch of different colors on their website, but I went ahead and got the cobalt blue, which is awfully convenient. They had this other lime green one, and I didn't really want a bright plastic background around the screen, so I went with a darker one. And uh, yeah, take a quick look at the charger. Um, looks like the cable's a little thicker. I don't necessarily think that means it's better quality. Pretty similar, I mean, almost identical. One thing is it says Nintendo there, and it does not say Nintendo there. They have a very similar swivel design. So, this one does just feels remarkably cheaper but you know better than it not coming with a charger now they claim that the shell is what is new with it that's the refurbished part so <clears throat> I am very curious we're one for one on the charger kind of being very bootleg so I like <laughs> I like how this feels I'm, I'm really excited about this let's see just the DS. There you go. Hmm. It's pretty much the exact same. Hmm. Well, my friend has his uh, blue stylus in here, so otherwise, very similar. It comes with the decoy. You can put it in there. That's nice. It's cool to have that again. So yeah, very um, kind of surprised to be honest. I did not I didn't expect it to be this presentable. It just looks like a pretty much a brand new DS. Alright, I apologize about the kitchen lighting but uh, I figure it's brighter than what we had. Now let's go ahead and do the old. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm really curious to see. Yep. It is just more blue. To be honest, I do like the sheen of it more. Maybe it's just because it's clean and this one's not. Feels a little heavier. I'm not sure why that is. Look at this. Is that there some, some glue? At first, I thought it was uh, scuffs. Of course, fingerprint magnets. Great. Um, oh shoot! I don't know how much of this video I just did with the microphone on the counter so I apologize about that <laughs> anyway the screen is not exactly very bright I'm telling you you can get used to it you can acclimate but uh, the second you look at your cell phone for more than a minute uh, this thing you have to acclimate all over again because it's so dark so we'll have this playing back here while we fiddle around with these ones and just for good measure, let's put in Sapphire. I'm not Sapphire. Get a baseline. Oh. Another sound. Turn the sound this way. On this one, you turn it. It's opposite. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, see how much nicer that is? I mean, even from all the way back here, even with that glare, you could tell. 
the rocket's red glare. So, <clears throat> moment of truth. Make sure the volume is turned up. And ah, it feels feels really rigid. I know that sounds silly, but uh, I don't know. You can just tell it feels new. Maybe it's actually got sharper buttons. The buttons might be a little sharper. I don't know, but it's practically identical. Maybe these are just worn down, kind of like the thumbsticks. All right, clean no more. It's too late. Okay, ready? Wow. That's nice and bright. Okay. Look at that, it's brighter. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, wow. Look at that, the knockoff Nintendo DS is brighter. I must say, I am amazed. Could be that this one is just older. I mean, look, the hinge is stronger. It almost, it, this definitely feels deeper right here. This, um, I don't know what you would call it, the faceplate or the lip, the lip. It feels like it's a slightly cheaper plastic, but I'm totally guessing. I don't have like plastic x-ray vision. But yeah, um, I'm pleased. Oh, it says there's no game pack inserted. My yes. Oh my goodness. Hold on, ladies and germs. The most certain, hold on. Yes, I just did that deal with it. Okay, try it again. That's loud, too. There we go, start gambling game. All right. Let's just see how loud in comparison. Ready, here's the old Nintendo. Oh, I tried to stand about six inches further away to get some spatial equivalence. Can you hear the empty spaces? Um, but it is a little louder. I mean, it sounds cheaper. You can hear the speakers kind of rattling the luxurious plastic housing, um, but you know, I'm gonna be playing games with, I don't even know what this would be, eight or 16 bit sound, so I'm not, wow. So I'm not super concerned about the sound quality. Bottom screen. It's not a fair comparison, you have one on the bottom, one on the top camera can like barely even focus on this thing man oh, yeah, look, how, oh, look at that oh. that is just gorgeous man I mean it's a little uh saturated um wow that button was super responsive sometimes on this one I feel like I have to press it pretty hard there's my pokedex Read it and weep, ladies and germs. This is so far. I'm used to looking at the bottom screen. <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but look at the look at the Poke Center. Look how brilliant. Look at how bright. It's so responsive. Ooh, these buttons. Ooh, that's a problem. That's that could be a little bit of a problem. Look how, watch this, uh, so it's very surface level. Can you see how easy it was to press the button? Seems right there at the surface. That's kind of a problem, but that one especially is bad. Refurbished, indeed. Other than that, how about out Millhouse? Let's go ahead and check out the, uh, the touch screen and the stylus. It's kind of hard to pull out. So he's turning into quite the comprehensive review. So let's go to Picto Chat. It's so loud. I can. <laughs> this sounds really crazy, but I can feel the uh, stereo, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Don't mess around. Goof. <laughs> okay. Yeah, really responsive. Hello. Alright, got a double H there, but I'm 
typing with one arm around the camera, so. I'm curious what the back says. So this one's from 2006. So this is quite old. I mean, in really good condition for being 17 years old. Can you believe that? Now this one, let's see what it says. Looking through the camera screen. Well, look at that, 2006. Patents issued and pending. Secured, made in China. Wow! So, 2006. Interesting. Let's see. Look at that, it's still UG. This is the old one. UG. Wow. Except this one has a person of some sort in it. Yeah, China. RSA secured. Unless they just did a really good job at forfeiting the labels. This thing looks pretty darn legit. So one thing I did notice while fiddling around with it was this. Check that out. Does that look a little eyebrow raising to you? See all that movement? Let's focus. I mean, it feels solid. And then again, from the original, it's going to be hard to film this because it's like, it does move a little bit. I don't even know how that's possible if maybe this part of the clamshell. Yeah, it almost looks like it is bigger. I do have my yard stick. It's just a hair over five inches. Or however many centimeters that is for you. Uh, metric scum. This one almost looks just bigger in, in general. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not really like really trying to get this on film. Oh, no, actually, maybe it is a little bigger on this one. I can't really tell. I think I got it captured enough on film that you can make up your own mind. Either way, either way, 90 bucks for a retro console is pretty legit, and you're probably going to end up paying that much for the cartridges anyway. Maybe not that much, but it's only a matter of time. I mean, I saw this very one, this fire red Granted, it was in the box, it was a perfect box, but it was going for $260 at the record store, so that is nothing to bat an eye at, but either way, I mean, look at this, there's just night and day, like almost literally, so, so folks, I will leave you with a brief moment of remembrance for our previous nearly obsolete devices. I mean, I love my SP, but you know, the screen is just so darn dark, and once you go black, you never go back. Well, folks, that's all for this time. Go ahead and give me a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Share with your friends. Until next time, this is your friendly neighborhood Brad Flakes, signing off. I mean, Sapphire looks really good. On the bottom screen, Yeah, goodness gracious.